I know there have been people who have been asking if Android N Developer Preview 3 is good enough to use as a daily driver. Ever since the update came out, I've been using it every single day and I will tell you, it's been pretty good. Is it worth switching over though on your 6P if you're running Marshmallow? Well, yes and no. Let's talk about it. Android N Developer Preview 3 comes with a good host of features. And with Developer Preview 3, this version goes from alpha to beta. Google has finally put this phone in a more stable version. If you haven't already, you might want to take a look at my past videos for Android N Developer Previews 1, 2, and 3. Personally, for me, Android N Developer Preview 3 has been pretty stable. Even when I was running Developer Previews 1 and 2, I felt that was still pretty good. Yeah, I did have bugs here and there, but it wasn't that bad. And with Developer Preview 3, it's been a lot more stable since. Running Android and Developer Preview 3 still offers a really smooth, clean interface. I haven't noticed any dramatic differences as far as lag goes or anything like that. Apps still open quickly and run smoothly and you get to keep up to date to see what the next Nexus software is going to be like. In a way, it's kind of special having it. It's like getting a sneak preview before anybody else gets their hands on it. With Android N, you get changes in animation, as far as shortcuts go, little things like having the second show up on your time. You're able to do things like split the screen up, you could also do it in landscape mode, You can give your applications importance levels. For example, with Gmail, if I find this really important, I can set this to a very high setting, so it'll notify me on a higher priority basis than, let's say, another app. Android N finally adds a clear all when you're multitasking, and a lot of other features I'm not going to discuss. You can see those in my previous videos. Is it still fast? Yes. Is it still clean? Of course. Do I have any issues? Here and there. Sometimes I'll have apps that'll just close on me, or it'll tell me that I need to restart the app. So don't update to Android N Developer Preview 3. Thinking that it is a 100% foolproof update. But I will say 9 times out of 10, I have no issues, if not better than that. I should go over some of the apps though, just so you know what I use, so you're not a little confused about, hey, Jerome said that it was working well, but with this app, it's not. So other apps that aren't in the Google suite, I'll go over, Airbnb, Amazon, those work fine, Chase, Facebook, Feedly, HBO Now. Actually, I have issues with this, but I don't know if this is actually because of Android N Developer Preview 3 or if HBO Now is just a horrible app. HBO Go works a lot better than Now. Instagram's fine, Messenger's fine, Prime Now, Snapchat, Sonos, I have pretty good stability with all of these apps. For previews 1 and 2 for Instagram, I actually had an issue where if I tried to take a picture, it wouldn't upload. But with Developer Preview 3, I'm able to use Instagram fine now. With all of that said, would I recommend updating to Android and Developer Preview 3 on your Nexus 6P? Yeah, I would. But you have to know that it's not going to be perfect. You might have a bug here and there. Apps might just unexpectedly close. But if you can live with those little inconveniences 1-2% of the time, I would totally go for it. You'll still get a very solid, clean version of Android with the new features. Just be prepared for a little minor annoyance here and there. Oh, I forgot to mention, you know one thing that I love about Android N also? I think actually it just came for Preview 3, is like, remember when you have your phone off and if you double press on the power button, it'll open up the camera app? Well, I found out that even if you're on your phone and it's unlocked and let's say you needed to access the camera app real quick, now double tapping the power button will get it going. Another good feature.